Cops often think they are above the law and can do anything they wish. However, sometimes karma gets to them, and they are held accountable for their actions, just like this officer who was fired after this act of brutality. Come on, walk to my car. Walk to my car. Why are you saying that but pulling me? So go on and drag me, because that's what you're doing anyway. If you ain't walking, just walk to my How car. How you gonna tell me that, but you pulling me, as you said, Ms. it Marshall, didn't say it yet. We're we'll just trying to lead you over here this way. Okay, you're okay, doing it too. Stop. I feel the force on you too. The female sleeping there had previously been given a trespass warning from the exact location. Therefore, Officer Gregory Damon quickly arrested her and took her to his police cruiser. Don't be nasty. That's y'all department. Welcome home. Don't be nasty. Yeah, man, if you gonna call me nasty, your man, the I'm, I'm a county nasty. I'm saying don't so, be nasty. You no, know, don't tell me what not to be when y'all doing it to me. Right here, second Yeah. Do you have anything on you that can harm me, poke me, sick me? Damon then escorted her to the police station and asked her to leave her car. That's when the situation got out of control and Damon did something terrible. Miss Marshall, come on, get out the car. When the I got the right to get out the car when I had a right to get in the car? Miss Marshall, hmm. get out the car, come on. We'll Miss Marshall, I'm gonna drag you out of this car. I already know. I don't I want to drag, drag you out, me. but I need you to come get I out want the car. You to so do so what you did off the porch of the doctor's office. Come on. Drag me. Come on. I want you to drag me. Come girl. on. I ain't, I ain't Kick your feet out. I ain't kicking your feet out. Unless you be telling me to open my legs for your dumb ass. Come on. Yeah, that what you gonna have to do. That what you did at the porch. That what you want to do in And I want you to get that feeling, guess what? Because I was raised a ton, boy, in Central Park Projects. So guess what? I'm used to being rough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand up. By your Stand up. The officer pulled the old woman out of the car and went over to drag her across the floor. Although the woman was also being difficult, the officer should have involved the jail staff to handle this matter according to protocol. However, he kept on making the situation worse. You want me by? You can't pick my Stand big up, can you? That's what the officer was jealous. Stand up, come on. He couldn't pick my big up. He was jealous of my big. You want me in this position, dog? I'm a clown, boy. Central Park, my, you ain't hurting yet, at all. Oh, CPV, no. Central Park, Project, Tom, what? Jump walls, hung on the roof. Man, because you can't pick my big up. Hey, you fat Look, I went to Allwood High School. Guess how much I, I, I lift weights? Uh, 130 pounds. Bitch, I bet you can even bitch 130 pounds. That's why your officer was mad. He could see I, I lift the weights at all the wood. He don't like my belt. You bought was the mother officer that arrested me. The woman was later booked into jail. Now, here's the CCTV footage showing how the cop dragged the woman. The woman also used vulgar language throughout, but instead of remaining professional, Officer Damon himself made rude comments to the arrestee. Soon after the incident, the Tampa Police Department initiated an internal investigation into the scene, and Damon was eventually fired from his position. This officer may not be completely wrong, but you clearly can't say the same about this next guy. Give me your license and your proof of insurance, or you're going in handcuffs. On June 5, 2019, Officer Ty Jindra was on his routine patrol route when he pulled up behind a car at a gas station. He soon got out of his car and started to have some concerns about the vehicle's temp time. Uh, this is about 625? Why don't you just sit in the car? What'd I do? 625? Sit in the car. Get in the car. That's, that's expired, is it not? Oh, 
Well, what did Sit I do? Sit in your car. Sit in your car. Sit in the car. All right, I'll take, I'll take your license and your proof of insurance. The victim, later identified as Ramon Brown, was minding his own business and had committed no crime. However, sadly, in America, cops considered themselves above the law and claimed to have all the authority in the world. The right there. That's what I was trying to tell you. You need to have license plates on your car. Give me your license and your proof of insurance or you're going in handcuffs. God damn. This traffic stop was unnecessary, but instead of rectifying his mistake, the corrupt cop arrested him without cause. Officer Jindra wanted to search his vehicle, and you'll be shocked to find the real reason behind it. Meanwhile, poor Ramon found himself handcuffed in the back of a police cruiser and was still wondering what he did wrong. Things started to get more suspicious when the officer noticed something in front of the car that was folded inside a paper note. Surprisingly, the officer never opened the paper note or showed it in front of the body cam. He goes on to question Brown about it, but soon turns his frustration towards a guy who claimed to be his friend. You were the one right here, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, put your hands behind your back. What? Put your hands behind your back, right now. What? I don't want... Hell no! What the fuck are you doing? Hell no! 
just like that, the tyrant cop makes another arrest out of nothing. At this point, you start to wonder what's wrong with this cop as he talks to the other guy about hiding narcotics inside the car. Okay, hey, just give me one second and he's gonna go with you, okay? Okay, 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 thank you. I don't you. like when people walk okay, up no, to me. I'm sorry, I don't want, I don't want to do that. Okay. okay, okay, step back here. What do you mean, something's mine? Well, it's either yours or his, right? No. Hey, no. nothing's mine. Hey, nothing's right, mine, huh? I'm not gonna cuff you. You're, you're gonna walk away from me, okay? Yeah. I'm not gonna cuff your buddy. The matter seemed to be much bigger than just expired temp tag, but surprisingly, the officer just let both of them go without any citation or a ticket. You're transporting two, uh, Put your license plate in your window. Put your license plate. Put your license plate on. That's what I was doing. I just got it today from my brother. I'm just and I, that's why I was trying to explain to you that the plate is in the registrations is all right there in the window. Right. Can I show you? I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a break. You have the license, you know, right? Yes, but because I was just using my brother's car. Can All I right. show you the plates? Go ahead. I'll, I'll show you. My, the guy who bought the car from, he told my brother, he said, don't put him on until. June 2nd. Said, don't put them on until. Well, it's July. Oh, well, yeah, I know, but he been having a car since. All right, well, put them on. Should have a yellow tag. Then. I just, uh, I just it pulled it off because uh, it was expired a month ago. That's what I'm saying. It's my brother's car. I didn't. Right. Although Brown was never charged with a crime, he felt his rights had been violated, so he filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city and the officer. Minneapolis City agreed to settle the lawsuit for $95,000. However, this was just the beginning of Officer Jindra's downfall, as investigations against him led to a shocking discovery that he used his position to obtain narcotics from people. He had a addiction and would often pull over cars to obtain them. Not only this, he would often go into people's houses and search them for narcotics. Moreover, he never reported the drugs and only used them for himself. He later admitted to having an addiction and pled guilty to these charges. He was sentenced to three years in prison. And this isn't the last time an ignorant cop caused his city a massive lawsuit. And while your window was down, with your middle finger extended, you said, quote, yelled it, and then said, as you drove away. Oh my God. Hands on the hood. Come on. On February 9, 2018, Gregory Bombard was driving around his hometown with a coffee and a cigarette when state trooper Jay Riggin pulled him over. Gregory had no idea why he was being stopped, and the reason turned out to be quite amusing. You need something? You need something? Yeah. No, it looks like you uh, put me off and you're going by there. Looks like you went like this to me as I was driving by it. Were you looking? Did you not do that? No, you might have thought I might have been stretching. I'm doing this. Okay, so you didn't. No. Okay, you didn't intentionally do that Were then. You? I thought I took too long. Yeah, it looked like looked right at me and looked like you stuck your middle finger up in my face. No, no, I was doing this. Yeah. You must be really sensitive if you can look very tough moment. Well, I don't even make it personal, you know. I mean, I, I, you looked right at me, and I, if you were like a cigarette or you had a well, one, one. I was doing this. First of all, I'm not an overly sensitive person. Yeah. And it's the first time in 12 years I've ever stopped someone who I thought put me off, so I don't like that continuation. Trooper Riggin claimed he thought he had flipped him off, which meant showing him a middle finger. Gregory didn't understand what he was saying, as he claimed that he was only lighting his cigarette. However, even if he did it, there was no reason for the cop to pull him over, as it's his constitutional right to freedom of speech. You off. I want to make sure that you're all right. Yeah, it's, it's an unusual behavior. It's unusual behavior. You may not have been doing that, but I think you can agree that if someone was looking for the attention of a trooper, they're probably going to find it by giving them that type of negative signal. Do you agree with that? No, I don't know, because I don't understand that. So, so if, if, if somebody were to do that, can we, uh, that might not have been you, but can we agree? If somebody did that for a trooper, they're obviously looking for their attention. No, I wasn't looking for your attention. I know, I'm not, I'm, I'm saying if someone did that. I'm trying to put you in my mindset from what I was thinking for a moment. Now that I'm talking to you, I realize that, that, that maybe that wasn't the case. Right, you don't strike me as someone who would do that? I don't know that until I have a conversation with you, do you agree with that? 
I don't know you in private so, conversation. Okay, so with I have a question. If someone puts you off, yep. what is the citation? What's the crime? So, if somebody, <laughs> if, so, if, so, if, so if somebody if somebody puts me off, yeah. I don't know if they're signaling to try to get my attention because they need any assistance or they need to have a conversation. But obviously, it's not normal behavior, so I'm going to have that conversation. Once again, the trooper didn't make any sense, as no matter how much he tried to justify his stop, Gregory was countering him with logic. Eventually, the trooper was left with no other option but to let him go. So I won't take up any more of your time. Well, I'm going to file a complaint with you. You're, you're, no, you're, 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 yep, you're, you're, more, you're more than welcome to. The trooper rigging out of the cell of his barracks. But I don't understand why, like, you thought it was lost. I was going by there, and your middle finger was extended while you were oh, looking at me. Maybe I was doing this. I was doing this. I just well, I, 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 I also see that you had a cigarette in your hand. Yeah. So it's possible that you had one hand up while you're sitting right there. That would be considered freedom of expression. So, so, so I'm going to call so, the complaining so, issue. So, so actually, <laughs> so, so you're, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. So, so here, here's the issue. Yeah. Is that, it, it, uh, although maybe freedom of expression, it is so unusual, that it requires introduction to make sure that you don't need help at some time. Are you trying to signal my attention or something? Okay. So it, it may be freedom of expression, but it crosses the line, whereas... It is so unusual that it requires intervention. And I'm not going to delay any more than I need to. Once, listen, sir, once I realize that you weren't fucking me off, you're free to go. You understand? You, you don't, now you don't realize that it you off. Once I realize What you, if I did flip you off? Then we have a conversation on what's important not to go for it. So I have other things to do then to be... So if I did flip you off... Uh, what you know, have a good day. However, things were far from over. Just as the trooper concluded the unlawful traffic stop, Gregory gave him the middle finger and cursed at him. In response, the trooper reversed his decision to let him go and conducted another traffic stop. Over fuck, as he pulled away, he uh, called me an all and said fuck with the bird. I'm going to arrest him for the conduct. There are multiple people around. Okay, so, so now you're under arrest for early conduct. Get out of the car. I'm under arrest for yeah. early so, conduct? What yeah. did I do? All, all the people there saying you and calling me. All the people there in the public? That's a crime, sir. So get out of the car, you're under arrest. How am I under arrest for disorderly conduct? I'm not going to bait this abuse. Please step out of the car. You are under arrest. Step out of but the car. But how is that disorderly conduct, sir? How is that but, a disorderly but, conduct? Although the first sir, interaction... I just got listen, up. Listen I'm, I'm having although a the first coffee. Listen to me. Ask me a question. Although the first interaction may have been an error, the second one certainly was not. And while your window was down, with your middle finger extended, you said, quote, asshole, yelled it, and then said, fuck you, as you drove away. And all that public there heard it and saw it. It is evident that the trooper just needed a reason to arrest him. Gregory still couldn't understand why this was happening to him, as he only exercised his right to freedom of speech. The trooper, who was already pretty agitated, started to escalate the situation. So that is disorderly conduct, 101, step out of the car. Step out of the car. Having problems. I have a lot of Step out of the car. Or right. go, step out of the car, you're going to be ejected from the car. How am I going to Step out of the car. Can I, can I meet you at the barracks? You, no, you cannot. How step out of the I car, you're under arrest. Can I call your supervisor? Do not. Get, we'll be at the barracks when we get there. Step out of the car, you're under arrest. How am I under arrest? Step out of the car, I'm going to make you. But, sir, how, can you explain to me how that is? It's disorderly conduct. It, it is tumultuous behavior of all the motor vehicle traffic there. That's yeah. Tumultuous. You cannot do that. It's, I mean, I it's, it's profane that. behavior in public. I don't That's understand just that. Step out of the car. I'm off the door and step out of the car. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Step out of the car. You're serious, sir. Walk back here. Oh my god. It wasn't a problem until it became a problem, you understand? Oh, now? Are you kidding? Well, you indeed can't be arrested for something you say, and that's precisely what Gregory pleaded to the trooper. Police officers must have thicker skin than this and should know the law much better. I'm going to put the hood on my hands on the hood. Oh my god. Hands on the hood. Sir, come on. Can I put your hand on your back? Oh my god, sir. You're kidding. Other my hands. Other hands. Hand. Other hands. I'll take care of it. Okay. I do not believe this, sir. I do not believe this. The first one may have been there, and the second one certainly was not. How is it disorderly conduct? I'm not being disorderly. How is it causing disorderly? Now, we can maybe agree to disagree, but yelling at and saying with your hand out of the window in front of what probably were, was a little what, 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 what probably were dozens of people, if not over a hundred people, in very busy Main Street traffic. Now that's just early conduct 101. That first thing may have been an error, then after that it certainly wasn't. But now I'm wondering, How if you had, and, but, but now I'm wondering if maybe you actually did do that as I thought you originally did. Because only somebody who then would have the the, the, the Sir, audacity I was and cigarette and I, I, I was doing you my finger. You may let me speak now. Someone has the audacity to do that. 
someone has the audacity, I, 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 I've made thousands and thousands of phone okay. calls, and, 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 and I don't remember any time I've ever seen someone consciously flicking the bird side. Now, now, I'm, now I'm convinced that you did. Push it, that behavior, you have to get the end of the stuff. Okay, so you uh, are under arrest, arrest, and that's the end of the story. Whatever. Trooper Riggin proceeded to search him and then made him sit in the back of the police cruiser. Gregory made the right decision to not speak a word to the officer. Well, I am, but I'm not going to answer my questions, I guess. I'm not, I'm not I'm worried about my car. I'm not intending you to, ask, I'm not intending to ask you the questions. I'm worried about my car, sir. Jeff, if you're staying there. You're kidding me. I cannot believe this. 240, so I'm going 21, I'll use the I'm all set now. So what happened to my car? Well, it says no parking inside of the street, so it's going to get towed. Where? So it's going to get towed. I'll give you a record of your preference. Come back over here. Can I get my personal bag? I can grab it for you, but you can't grab it. <laughs> You understand you've been arrested, right? So you don't just, fit to, you don't just, you don't just fit to drag around your car now, right? I mean, it's, mm -hmm. I, you can't take around. Uh, you've been arrested here in custody, so that's going to All right, whatever. Shortly after, another trooper made his way out and didn't see any problem with the arrest. It's bizarre how two law enforcement officers don't know the law. Um, I drove by him, and I saw his little finger extended at me. Really? So I just wanted to have, have a conversation with him. It's like, you need attention. Like, what's going on? You need help? Right? Okay. I mean, you know, totally, totally unusual behavior. What's going on? He, he denied doing it, so I said, okay, maybe he didn't do it. And then... He absolutely did it, obviously. Yeah, absolutely did. So when we got to the car before he left, he, out the window, yelled, asshole, said, fuck you, and put me off in front of a hundred yeah. people? Great. I will meet you at the barracks. Uh, it's outrageous. I'm going to have a uh, candy stick with this. Okay. Yeah. We're going with Correct. This cop went on an insane power trip, but the actions of this next cop were even more troubling. What's up, my man? Come here. Come here. What? Oh, shit. Yeah, no. Put the bike down. Put the bike down. Why? It's my bike. Because I told you to put the bike down. Why are you stopping me right now? Because you're riding your bike. Light I'm on. I'm riding it. I gotta put the bike I down. Right here. Dude, put well, the bike right down. Here. I no. Put, put the bike, bike down, James. Bike. Turn around. Put Call your hands behind your back. Call your Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. I'm a you, dude. What have I Get on the ground, James. What have I done wrong? 562 King. Get on the ground. I've not done nothing wrong. Get on the ground, James. I've done nothing wrong. Am I being Get on the ground, James. The man constantly inquired about why he was being detained, but the police officer arrogantly replied that he wouldn't listen. Am I being detained? Subject stop. Am I 425 being Willow, white male. Help. Get on the ground, James. You are being detained, you fucking idiot. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm going to fucking tase you, dude. Get on the ground. Put the flashlight down. Am I being detained? Yes. For what? Put your hands behind your back. For what? Put your hands behind your Why back. What am I being detained for? For fucking not listening. Why Drop that detained? flashlight. That's not an Drop that That's flashlight. That's not an articulable reason for suspicion that I committed a crime. Yeah, it is. You it took is off. Not. Yes, it is. It is not. Yeah, it is, James. No, it is not. You still Call your out? Supervisor. You still? Call your supervisor. Relax. No, I'm not relaxing. Call your supervisor. This fucking harassment is going to stop. Shut up. Call your supervisor. I want you to call your supervisor. When the individual exercised his First Amendment rights and asked the police to summon a supervisor, the officer responded irresponsibly. My I am the supervisor, audit. dipshit. First Shut First up. First Amendment audit. Yeah, try the Fifth First Amendment. Amendment. Shut First up. First Amendment audit. You have no reason to stop me right now. Yeah. None. You're riding your bike with no Zero. fucking lights on. on. Right there in my hand. It's got to be on the it fucking on bike, the bike, dipshit. It was on the bike. I just took it off. No, I just watched you right away you when I rolled there. up. You didn't tell me to stop. There was no stop. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I told you to I stop right here. I did nothing wrong. You have no crime I committed. 562 King. No. I'm detained. 29 on last Call aggression. Your first James. Call your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor right now. Shut up. Yeah. I want your supervisor. What'd you ditch over here? I'd like your supervisor, sir. Okay. Well, I think he's down at the jail. As the individual had done nothing improper that would warrant an arrest, it was clear that the police officer was not in the best of moods. I'd like your supervisor, sir. I need to speak to your supervisor now. This ain't happening. Yeah. Are you still on court conditions, James? I want to, no, I'm not. No. I don't have any court conditions. None. 
Huh? None. Zero. I've not committed a crime. You have no reason to stop. Yeah, me. I did. When I told you to stop. I'd like to stop your. Yeah. Your, I stopped. When you told yeah, me if you're stop. fucking arguing with me. I'm gonna argue and with you. And I had you. to pull my taser you have out. no reason to stop me. Yes, I do. None. What? Yeah. I've not committed a crime. No misdemeanor, no felony. Yeah, James. It's called riding a bike without a headlight. I got a headlight right there. It's not on the bike, I James. Your friend. Hey, I'm not on a bike. I'm in a parking lot, private property. What are you doing here? You got any dope on you, James? No, I don't. Now what? I want your supervisor. When the individual told the officer he was violating his first, fifth, and ninth amendment rights, the cop surprisingly said nothing. Stand up. I want your stand up. I'm gonna stand up. Where's your supervisor? Face at? away. Put your feet apart. You got any weapons on you? Nope. Well, I don't know. Maybe something. I don't know. I doubt it though. No Maybe deal. some what? No, I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot of shit in my pockets. I've been working on cars all day. You got a Check knife on you? Yeah. I know this, I have, I'm being detained for no reason. I want to talk to your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. What supervisor, James? You I think we're at your, your fucking beck and call, you dipshit? Yes. No, First no. Amendment audit right now. Go. Yeah, First Amendment audit. You have no reason to stop me right now. You're yeah. in violation of my First Amendment rights. And my fifth. And my fourth. And my ninth. Put your feet apart, James. Yeah, sure. Face the car. Face the car. I want to see your supervisor. I just fucking property. told you, no. dumbass. Private property, I'm right here in my house. I live right there. The policeman's ego took over and threatened to arrest the man when he refused to provide his credentials. He argued that he hadn't done anything illegal as he was on public property. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You are the subject of For investigation, what? yeah. For what? For resisting right now. What's, what's my crime? For resisting. What's my crime? Yes, right? resisting. I'm not resisting. Yeah. Crime. Yeah. Me I told you already. I already told. I don't have to answer your questions. Yeah, you do. Okay. You're going to jail. To. Yep. You're going to fucking jail, For dude. What? What's that for, for arguing? What? I'm asking you some basic, you, like basic information. My name's James Gresham. You know my name. I asked you what your date of birth was. I don't have to answer your questions. Then. Yes, you do. I guess I do, huh? Yes. Because I'm being detained, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Five twenty six nine. And I'm, this is an illegal stop. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Or your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. Sir. James, you know how many times you have no right. I'm on. You know how many property. times you've been in this the fucking public property. I'm okay. not to make of it. Nothing. Nothing. The police officer persisted in finding grounds for arresting the guy, who was identified as James. But when you're rolling up here and then coming back... You told like, me to come back, so I came back. Yeah, and then I'm fucking telling you to drop the bike. You're not dropping the bike, and bike. then you fucking push it. You, you're trying to bike. tense up on me. My hand. I didn't do nothing yes, on you. Yes, you did. That's why you were stopping me. Yes, you did. I saw you pull up here. That's why I turned around and come back. All right. I knew you were going to come. How about that? Yeah, because when I roll up for this fucking bonfire... What do with me? You were there. I was just talking to them, asking yeah. them what's up with the bonfire. Oh, and they were okay. barbecuing. Imagine that. Did you stop and ask what? about the fire? I didn't. You took off. I'm like, I, where's I this guy going? To, I, wasn't, I didn't have to stop for you. Just because you pull up, don't mean I stopped my life. I have. It does no when there's a crime being committed. No, I didn't commit a crime. Huh. I committed no crime. What was my articulate reason for suspicion? I already told you. To come here to stop me. I already told you. There is no crime. I'd like to talk to your supervisor, sir. Have, right now. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah you can want, 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 want one hand shit in the other. James took advantage of the opportunity to confront the police officer and educate him about the law, leaving the officer dumbfounded. Sure it does. Stop. What's that? I wasn't asked to stop. Because you fucking took off. I wasn't asked to stop. Yeah, I that's why I came wrong. over here and told There's you to stop. There's no reason to stop me. That's why I came over here and There's told no you to stop. There's no reason to stop me. What's your reason for stopping me? Go for What's your reason for coming over here? I'm on private property, man. Yeah, well. Why did you come here? What's that? What is your articulable, reasonable suspicion for stopping told you, on James. private property, man? Because. What? What's because? Flight from the cops. A flight from who? I did wasn't stopped. I know, because you didn't give me a chance. What, what were so you going to stop me for? See what's going on with this fire. It has nothing to do with me. Okay. How do I know that if you're leaving? It's not my fire. 
not my house. How I do don't I, live there. How do I know that when you well, take off? people live there barbecuing, right? You would have found out. Okay. James insisted several times that the charges against him were unfair and that he had done nothing wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm on private property. You're, I'm you're not harassing you. Right now. I'd like to see a supervisor, sir. Okay. It doesn't change how we go about this. Yeah. I've had to study for my law for this bullshit that I've been going through. Okay. okay. So yeah. I'm a little bit more versed than And how, how's that working out for you? Well, you know, like, it's been three years of uh, my due process being violated. I've been convicted of nothing since I've been here. So it's still going on. Yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah. You get pissed off. Mm -hmm. well, you get pissed off so you can get drawn out. I yeah. get pissed. What's that got to do with it? I'm being attorney? charged for nothing. You, get an attorney you know what my charges are, sir? With you. For yeah. three years, you know what my charges are? I had my sister's debit calls. Oh. So I think she does live there. Yeah. Because that's when Ronnie, when I came here, Gabrielson, uh -huh. he od she was the one living here. Oh. Uh -huh. um, there is no, there's only a deadbolt. And I don't know if that's locked or not. I didn't want like, to push on the door or anything because there's the normal door knob's missing. The policeman started examining James and his possessions without legal justification or explanation. Or resisting. I'm not. Don't. What are you doing? Dude? Yeah, you Face the car. I, okay, I'm putting your feet apart. Go ahead. Miss me. I just went to jail. Go ahead. Take me to jail. Watch out. Don't leave my stuff. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Space board game. I'm going to see the act. All right. Yeah, I don't do I didn't do nothing wrong. You don't listen. I do listen. I came right to you when you pulled up. You're the one who was running at me, not me at you, bud. Yeah, because you're trying to get away, dude. Oh, you're trying to get away? What are you telling yourself? Yeah. You're telling your body cam. It is. Let me do a rape it. Uh, race All right. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you got there? It's rocks? Yeah, wow. Rocks. You drop that down here with this. After searching his belongings, the police officers put James in the back of their car and took him to the police station. There you go. Is this your jewelry? It sure is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do remember it? What? The whole box was on the seat of my car, remember? No, I don't. Oh. Right, come on back here. We'll get it. Okay. Here we go. What's that? What's up? Clip. Duct tape. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Have a seat. Mistake. You made a mistake, bud. Something else fell out over here. I um, grabbed that, that black object, whatever it was. The trial in this case was set for the first week of May. James is presently free after hiring an attorney. Since the unlawful arrest, the negligence of the Lyon County Sheriff's Department has negatively affected him. If you think this cop seemed unreasonable, wait till you see the next one. Here's an example of what I'm doing. Have you all heard about the Smithfield trial? Okay. Okay, they don't want to talk. Okay, that's it. I move on. If people don't want to talk. We move on. Everybody, you don't. Have y'all heard about the Smithfield guy. trial? The upcoming Smithfield talk, trial. On July 23rd, 2023, a group of individuals met in Beaver, Utah, intending to conduct community outreach and gather signatures for a petition concerning an impending criminal trial involving two well-known DXE activists. The meeting aimed to discuss Smithfield Foods and its effects on the town with the people. But you won't believe what this police officer did. We need to stop. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. You need to stop. You realize you're not wanted in this community and you've been asked to leave? I don't care. I know you don't care. That's the problem with your group. You just don't care about people or anybody. Do you understand? You've been asked to leave. All of this for handing out some flyers. This is how much all, all of commotion. This is because, all of this because your, your group has, has been a direct influence on shutting down Smithfield Foods. You don't realize that's the major employer in our county? 
You don't think I know that? Lot, there's a lot of people that have lost their jobs, and you come into this community and pour salt into the wounds of the people that have lost their jobs. It's not okay? the intent. You need to st well, I don't care what the intent is. What you're doing is causing a disturbance in the community. Sergeant Warren Woosley of the Beaver County Sheriff's Office confronted the activists, linking the DXC to Smithfield's announcement of production cuts in Utah and an unspecified number of worker layoffs. I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to tell people not to talk to you. Then fine, do that. Okay. This is great content for us. Absolutely ridiculous. This is, oh, is it this ridiculous? is very anti-free speech. It's not I never it's not not permission to put me on your film. Okay, are you a public servant? Yes, I am. Okay, well then you can be filmed. No, I cannot. Not a volunteer, public servant. Okay, you got a badge on. I'm a volunteer. Now get your camera on. You need to stop. Now. Stop what, sir? Right okay, there. causing a problem in our community. I'm not trying to cause any problems. Well, so you are. Listen, sir. When someone's asking you like this, a public servant, he's a volunteer type thing, and okay. he's asking you nicely to please don't film him. Okay. And we're asking you to stop filming him. Okay, I won't giving, film him. We're giving you a lawful sure. order to not do that. Okay. If you violate that lawful order, then, sure. then you're causing a disorderly conduct okay. issue. We're not, is filming, we're not filming him anymore. Okay. Okay? okay? We're filming you, you two. The police officer arrogantly declared that he would not allow anyone to speak to the activist. You, need to, you don't have a permit to approach people without your product. Okay. okay, I don't need a permit to talk to people on a public sidewalk. You need... I don't need a permit to talk to people you, on a public sidewalk. You're causing a problem in the community. I'm not. I'm asking people if they people want to have a conversation. If they say to, no, I let them go. People that's it. come to us. Sure. They do not want you here. Okay. okay, that's that's fine. Then I'm keeping the peace and I'm asking you to leave. All we're asking people... No, I'm asking you to leave. Okay, here's, here's, a, here's an example of what I'm doing. Have you all heard about the Smithfield trial? Okay. Okay, they don't want to talk. Okay, that's it. I move on. Okay. If people don't want to talk, we move on. Okay. Everybody, you don't Have you all heard about the Smithfield guy. trial? The upcoming Smithfield trial? These are the people that are trying to shut down Smithfield. Okay? It's not true. These are the people that are trying to shut down Smithfield. It's not true. The activist, later identified as Volmar, was simply exercising his right to warn Beaver residents about the harm Smithfield Foods was causing to their neighborhood. Still, the police officer wouldn't let the people listen to the activist. Hey, don't stop. Don't talk to these people that are trying to shut down Smithfield. Her job is to keep the peace. Yeah. Okay, I get a complaint. That means that uh, in some way you are violating that peace. We're not. Okay. The harmony of the community. Yeah, har the harmony of the, the community. They don't want you here. They've asked you to stop. You guys did not stop. I am going to issue all of you disorderly conduct charges because we asked you to desist before. Okay? Now, if you continue, I am going to have to arrest you. Okay? I just want you not to do this. Okay. Okay. Let me make a couple phone calls. We need to see your IDs first, actually. Let's see your ID. Sure. My ID is by the stands. Yeah. Let me get them. I can walk over with you and get them. When Volmar stood up for himself, the cops threatened to arrest him for using his right to free speech and standing up for himself, which escalated the situation. You guys pretty much done what I asked. You stopped, okay? This guy did. That's why he's getting the ticket, okay? So I'm asking you not to go up to the horse races, okay? Or up to the rodeo too. Okay? That'll be a problem. Okay? I don't I, I can't stress enough how, how much people are pissed off this community. I actually fear for you guys. Okay? I'll probably kick your ass. Okay? I don't want that to happen. I mean, these guys, everybody in this community, about like 75, no, that's why we came here. 75 percent of the people worked with Smith. That's why right? we came here. That's okay. why we came here. And they've lost their job. They've lost their livelihood. Okay. There's a lot of people that have a lot of hard feelings. Okay. And 
They have a hard time with people from outside the community. Volmar and two other activists, both connected to DXE and the Utah Animal Rights Coalition, claimed that their right to free expression was violated by the sheriff's office. The lawsuit further claimed that Sheriff Cameron Knoll also yelled at DXE members that the activists should be killed before this encounter. If, even if that's, that's up the that's city 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 city. city to stay off city property. Until you get a permit from a city official sign that you can be up at the protest, you stay off the protest. You can go up there and observe and watch and have fun all you want. The instant you start trying to bring up the issue, because you're wasting my time coming to deal with this stupid issue. Y'all, y'all, you know, instead of looking for any First Amendment issues here at all. I do. You have the right to do that, but there's proper channels. Of there, you've there. got to take into account other people. Like I said, you're coming into a community just dumping salt in a wound that is very open. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's not the people's People's livelihoods, their families, their whole way of life has been changed, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, that, we don't think a that, corporation should have that, that, that much of a stronghold over, over, over a town. You know, yeah. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we witnessed moments where cops faced swift karma and were held accountable for their action. We hope these tyrants are charged for their crimes and are never seen in uniform again. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.